Thank you for visiting my channel and welcome to On Sundays I Bake. We're having a busy Christmas cookie workshop, but we are also making an easy chicken pot pie casserole. Now this is a favorite with my family and I'm sure it will be with yours as well. The first thing I do is I spray a nine by 13 inch baking pan. You can either use chosen, hold on. You can either use chosen or you can use pan or any other cooking spray that you're comfortable with. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do is spray the baking dish. Then in this bowl here, I have prepared one cup of Bisquick, one can of cream of chicken soup, one half stick of butter. And to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of milk. I'm gonna add my second cup of Bisquick and here's the Bisquick. So you can see this is the Bisquick that I'm using. It's two cups total. I'm using one can of cream of chicken soup. I'm using one cup of whole organic milk. And then I will add some organic chicken broth after I mix and I see what my consistency is. I want a pretty runny consistency because I'm going to be pouring this mix over my chicken pot pie inside, which is gonna be my chicken and my vegetables. So you can see the Bisquick is coming together now and mixing very nicely with the butter. The butter was at room temperature all day long. And we really do wanna have that butter at a room temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep on stirring. Now you can use, you can use a spatula or you can use a whisk or you can use a spoon. I prefer to use a whisk. Just, I just like to whisk everything together really well to make sure that I'm kind of getting everything all mixed up. And as you can see, this is very thick. It's very thick. So I'm gonna wanna add chicken broth until I get a consistency that's much more um, drippy much more liquid because I'm gonna be pouring this over the top of my casserole. And don't worry if it seems like it's a little bit too liquid because the Bisquick baking and pancake mix will firm up in the oven. Meanwhile, I have a 350 degree preheated oven. And this is looking a little bit better it's a little more liquid of a consistency, a little thinner. I still want it even thinner. So I'm gonna add about another half a cup of chicken broth. So it's about mm, three quarters of a cup, one cup of chicken broth that I'm adding. It doesn't really matter as long as the liquid that you're using is getting it. That's the consistency I'm looking for. You see, nothing's staying behind. So that's what I'm looking for, because I'm looking for something that's gonna completely coat my chicken. Okay, so that's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my chicken. This is a wonderful tool. I use it to shred my chicken. And these are two large chicken breasts that have been cooked. Let me show you. They've been cooked in a crock pot. Let me turn this off. I had the crock pot on high for two hours, on low for one hour, and then I moved it to warm. And then I have some chicken broth and water one cup of chicken broth two to three cups of water until the chicken breasts are completely covered and then i added paprika pepper and seasoned salt so we're going to go ahead and move back over here and now we want to prep our casserole dish you can use any vegetables you have on hand canned or frozen i usually use carrots and peas because it is a pot pie filling, but I don't have any carrots today, which is okay. I'm gonna use whole kernel corn, and I have some frozen peas, which I'm gonna go ahead and add, and then I'm going to make sure that with clean hands that I'm kind of spreading everything evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and top this, the vegetables, with my chicken, and I am going to grab the chicken and sprinkle it evenly over my 
vegetables, okay? Just like so. And again, I like the white meat chicken breast. I just think it's, it's healthier, it's easier. When I cook it in the crock pot, any fat or skin cooks off and is separated. So we just have the nice lean chicken breast to work with here. We just wanna cover everything fully. I don't add any shredded cheese to this casserole because I want it to resemble a pot pie. So it's very important that I have an even coating of my vegetables and my chicken. And then I'm going to pour my half stick of butter, two cups of Bisquick, one cup of milk, one can of cream of chicken soup, and enough chicken broth to make the mixture liquid. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that it's fully covered. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is to make sure that my casserole does not dry out. Again, I know this seems like a lot of liquid, but I'm gonna add about another half a cup to three quarters of a cup of, I like to use the organic chicken broth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a 350 degree oven. And I am not going to put foil on it. I want it to see how much it rises first. I'm gonna go ahead and bake it for 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna check and I'm going to cook and continue to bake in 10 minute increments until it gets golden and bubbly. And that's all there is to it. I will add a final picture of the result as the cover of the video. And I just wanna say thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please subscribe, like the video, and sign up for notifications. And we'll see you soon.